Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, a little update. Mental health is kind of in the toilet right now, but oh well. I was on antidepressants that also treated anxiety and OCD, but I'm off them now, so <laughs> having a lot more breakdowns. But it's fine. We are working through it with healthy coping mechanisms. 90% of the time. One thing that really triggers my mental health is clutter. My parents are gonna hate me for saying this, but my parents are serious hoarders. Like, they should be on that television show called Hoarders, and it triggers me. In today's video, we are going to declutter my makeup collection in a healthy, non-OCD way, hopefully. So makeup is my job, as you know, you're watching my YouTube channel. So I get sent a lot of products in PR and I also buy a lot of makeup too and it just sort of accumulates and then I feel really overwhelmed and then I'll only reach for the same three things because I feel so overwhelmed. So today we are going to declutter my makeup and then hopefully I won't feel so overwhelmed and then I'm also gonna go declutter the rest of my apartment because I feel like a cluttered apartment just gives me a cluttered brain and 2020 is the year that we are working on our mental health cat. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like that intro was a hot mess. If you're still here, let's declutter some makeup. <laughs> oh, also the makeup I'm wearing, I filmed it for my IGTV, so if you'd like to see how I did it, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Hello and welcome to another angle of my beauty room. So I figured we'd just go through each drawer and figure out what not to keep in there. Got my giant Sephora bag that we're going to put stuff in that we don't want. This top drawer is primers. Honestly, this one isn't too bad. I know it looks pretty bad, but it's not too bad. I think the best way for me to tackle this is to get everything out and then put back in what I want to keep. It's like the Mary Kondo way, you know, you have to see everything first. I think I'm gonna move you guys so you can see in the drawer a bit better. Okay, first one I'm getting rid of, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer because this expired in 2017. Every so often, when I go back to my parents' place, which isn't that often anymore because their house triggers me, when I go back, I will have a mental breakdown and then attempt to declutter their house before they yell at me. But last time when I was decluttering their bathroom, I was finding medication that had expired before I was born. It expired over 30 years ago. So when I find things in my life that have expired, I'm like, you need to declutter cat. What else can I get rid of? NYX Angel Veil, had that for far too long. Model's own face face, pretty sure they don't even make that anymore. Ooh, another primer water. Let's keep the clutch up. Get rid of these Clarins ones because they're too dark. I'm gonna get rid of this L'Oreal Infallible one because I've had it for so long and I never reach for it. I'm gonna get rid of the Rimmel Fix and Perfect because I, again, never reach for it. Oh, when I say that I'm gonna get rid of, if it's expired, I will throw it in the bin. If it's not expired, I have like this giant box of stuff that my friends and family go through whenever they come over and they can just take what they want. But if it's not opened, I donate it. Also, haven't reached for this Pause Be Gone Mattifying Primer ever. It is still sealed, so we can donate that one. So I have this green one by Miraness. It's supposed to help cancel out redness, uh, but I don't really have a lot of redness, so we're donating it. I feel like this Revlon primer has expired, so I really like this, but we're gonna get rid of it. Okay, that is our first drawer done. Now onto concealers. Oh, sorry you're not allowed to see that. That's like my PR code. <laughs> concealers is a bit intense. Oh my God, I had another Tarte Light Medium Honey in there. I ran out of this and was gonna repurchase it. Totally don't have to now. This is what happens when you clean cat. Okay, we have an excessive amount of concealers, cat. Well, this Maybelline Fit Me one we've had for far too long, cat. I'm gonna get rid of the Dragon Beauty concealer because I know it's supposed to brighten up under your eyes, but then that's like another step in your makeup routine, so I'm pretty lazy, so I never use this. Joy Concealer, one of my favorites for keeping. Haven't tried this Milani concealer yet, so have to keep that. Or this Bourjois concealer. I've had this L'Oreal Infallible concealer for far too long, but I am gonna keep my Zoeva concealer palette. I'm gonna keep my NARS concealers because I actually use these. I have two Fenty concealers. I'm keeping this shade, I think it's 180 that I use. New Becca concealer, this By Terry concealer, Morphe concealer, I really like this, I only tried this the other day. Okay, I have too many of these Rimmel ones. I'm pretty sure they don't even make the Wake Me Up concealer anymore. I'm pretty sure it's just the Lasting Radiance concealer now. So that one can go. Do I really need three different shades of this concealer? No you don't, Kat. So we're gonna keep Classic Beige. We're gonna get rid of the other two colors. I'm gonna get rid of this Clinique concealer. I never reach for this. So I got the new Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in PR, but they gave me the shade A Gleam, which is like way too dark for me. 
Makeup Revolution concealer. Oh, the shade. Ooh. I really want to try this concealer, but the shade is like so wrong for me. So it's gonna get donated. Completely forgot that I even had this Charlotte Tilbury concealer, but I've had this for way too long as well. This Soeva concealer, I've used it once. It was all right, but it's not like full, full coverage and I really love full coverage concealers, but I might give it another go for days that I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, which to be honest, isn't very often because I either go like all out full glam or nothing at all. There is no in between. Oh my God, another by Terry concealer. This one can go. Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer in the shade Honey. I feel like honey's gonna be really Really dark. Yep. Okay. Why do I even have this shade? My millions of Tarte Shape Tapes because this is my Holy Grail concealer. I'm keeping them all. Oh wait, there's more. This is my empty one. That one can go in the bin. I feel like light is too pink for me, so I'm gonna pop that in the giveaway pile. And then I also have three shades of the Josie Marin concealer. So keep my shade, get rid of the others. Then I also have three shades of the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake. Okay, gonna keep the two lighter shades, get rid of the darker one. Oh, I have this Marc Jacobs concealer that I used once. I got this because Nikki Tutorial freaking loves it. I kind of hated it, but I've only used it once and Nikki Tutorial loves it, so I wanna keep it to try it again. <laughs> Can get rid of the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer because I never reach for it. And the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Cat, you don't need six shades of the Born This Way concealer. That one can go. Hey, you know what? Actually, that one can go as well. And this one. Next door. Oh my god. It's the drawer I was dreading. It's foundations. Well, straight up, this Hourglass one can go because this one's way too dark. The MAC Studio Fix Stick Concealer can go because it really did not work with my skin. The foundations just keep coming. Okay, I guess we start with foundations that I love and use all the time. I feel like I never fake tan this dark anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of this shade of the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Well, these Revlon color sticks legit melted in the mail, and neither of them are my color, so they can go. Wow, I did not know I still had the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I feel like I used to use this like five years ago all the time on my channel. The shade's way too dark for me in the Estee Lauder foundation. Charlotte Tilbury foundation is also way too dark for me. I'm gonna get rid of the original It Cosmetic CC Cream, but keep the oil-free matte one because I haven't really played with it much. <laughs> I love all my Pat McGrath foundations. Okay, so I'm feeling very stressed and overwhelmed. I think that I need to move on to another drawer. Okay, so I'm probably gonna come back to that drawer over time. Okay, powders. You know what, we're gonna move to the floor for this one. And I apologize in advance for the state of my carpet. I did actually try to vacuum before filming this. Also, never buy Kmart rugs because they shed like a mother the Dragon Beauty Powder. I tried this, it did not look good under my eyes, it did not suit my skin tone, so getting rid of it. This Fenty Beauty Powder in Cashew. I have no idea why I have it. This is not my shade. This Charlotte Tilbury powder, I want to love it, but it's for under your eyes. It says under eye and face. When I put it under my eyes, it just looks really sheeny and I don't like it, so it's going. Freaking obsessed with the Pat McGrath powders. They're staying. Cannot remember the last time I used this Makeup Forever powder. I love Makeup Forever though, but no cap. Okay, I don't need three Born This Way Ethereal Setting powders. And then my microphone cut out for bronzers, blushes, and highlighters, but really all you missed was me having a breakdown, so I had to go take a break from filming. Okay, I'm back. I just went and ran errands in the city for like three hours. I'm mega sweaty, but I'm feeling a lot more calm. <laughs> A lot more like myself. Now where were we? Okay, these Fenty Island Blings are discontinued, so that's also discontinued. Let's get rid of that as well. Smashbox, the Hoodwitch Collection Liquid Eyeshadow. It is so beautiful and the packaging is amazing, but I need to get rid of it. I feel like I'm never gonna wear this shade on my eye. So let's get rid of this Clinique Chubby Stick. The other shades can stay though. Okay. Next drawer. Actually, this drawer's not too bad. I think we can just skip that drawer. That's like my loose pigments and gel liners. Now we're on to eyeshadow palettes. I have four drawers of eyeshadow palettes. You are limited edition, but I still want to keep this one. Keep in my Pat McGrath. Oh, this is so beautiful. No cat, we gotta get rid of it. You gotta get rid of it. You don't use it. It's pretty, you could display it. You don't have any room to display it. So in it goes. I'm gonna keep you. Do I want to keep both of these? Ooh, that red. Keeping. Ooh, you're pretty. We'll keep you. 
This Wet n Wild palette has been discontinued. I really loved it. Wet n Wild makes amazing quality eyeshadows and it was only like $5. But I'm not gonna use it if it's been discontinued. And now I've got a bunch of palettes by Bad Habit. So this brand used to do like dupes of really popular palettes. So this is like a dupe for the Novena palette, but I don't know what happened to this brand. <laughs> they kind of just disappeared. So I might put my palettes by this brand to the side and find out whether they still exist or not because if they don't exist, I'm probably not going to feature them on my social media. I have a lot of Revolution palettes. These and these and then I've got some with animal print on them somewhere. Keeping this one. I like these colors. Oh, this pink. I like the look of this palette, the orange one, but I don't know, man. I just have too many palettes that look too similar, you know? No, we're going to get rid of this orange one. And I think we're going to get rid of this one as well. This is the Reloaded Neutrals 2. I love the look of this palette. It did arrive smashed though. I tried to fix it, but there's still eyeshadow everywhere. I think I think it's savable though. And then I really love the bright pinks in this one. And I like the colors in this one. And this one, I like this pink and this purple and this like deep burgundy purple. So I'm gonna keep them for now. And if I don't use them, then they can go. Got two Max Factor palettes, gonna keep Matte Sands, and then I think I'm gonna get rid of Rose Nudes because I'm probably never gonna wear these colors. Draw number two, okay. Pat McGrath, we are keeping. And Natasha Denona. So there's this Urban Decay eyeshadow palette that's been discontinued for years, but I love the packaging and I love the colors but I don't use it anymore. I have a bunch of other colorful palettes that aren't discontinued, so I should probably get rid of this one. Just, mm, mm, look at this blue. Mm. This can go to a better home. I think I wanna get rid of the Urban Decay, the mini honey palette. I'm not gonna use it. Look at how many other freaking mini palettes I have that I'm gonna take with me traveling. And that's the only reason why I would keep that one to go traveling with. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Makeup Forever Starlet palette. Then this draw is also eyeshadow palettes. My James Charles Morphe palette that I never use because I like the Be Perfect Carnival palette better. My Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I, this is one of my favorite palettes for colors. The eyeshadow formula isn't my favorite, but I just love the color range. So definitely keeping that. This Too Faced palette was their like 10 year anniversary palette. So pretty, but it was limited edition and I'm not gonna use it. Morphe and Jeffree Star, I'm yet to try this palette. I'm not trying to start any drama or anything, but Jeffree Star doesn't seem like the kind of person that I would like to support. Like he's done a lot of like controversial stuff in the past and there's been instances with like racism and him just being a shady person in the past. And I know people change and everything, but I feel like he's, he's still not a very good person. So I'm a bit hesitant towards purchasing anything Jeffree Star these days. And again, like I don't know him personally, so maybe he is a lovely person person. This is the like moral dilemmas that happen in my brain sometimes. The Tatty Beauty palette. I love this palette. I'm keeping this palette forever. Sports Girl palette. Oh, it's so pretty in the press glitters, but I never use this, so I have to get rid of it. Same with the Sports Girl I Shade It palette. It needs a better home. Oh, the Chopo palette. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna hold on to this one a little bit longer. Oh wait, don't I have another drawer of palettes? My bad, it was three drawers, not four. Then this drawer is all lashes that I wanna keep, but I will throw out my manky old House of Lashes lash glue. Then this was like a random drawer. This was part of the Too Faced Christmas collection. It is so beautiful. Like first of all, look at how cute it is. And then when you open it up, Ooh. Mm, and it smells like sugar cookies, but you obviously can't get it anymore. So I'm gonna put it in the giveaway box. And this is just like random loose eyeshadows, some Unicorn Cosmetics lashes. I'm not gonna wear these. Some Berry Scented Lip Trio from Sports Girl that I haven't even opened, so that can go. And keeping all those individual eyeshadows. Okay, mascaras. Okay, these mascaras, they're going in the bin because I have had them open for like an excessive amount of time and no one should keep mascaras for longer than three months, supposedly. My Sigma ones, I have had open for far too long. Another Rimmel one, and another Rimmel one. <laughs> this Tarte mascara is going in the bin. This Too Faced mascara is going in the bin. Benefit They're Real can go in the bin. Another Tarte one can go in the bin. Mm, and now this Climax can go in the bin. 
I have an excessive number of unopened mascaras. What ones do we want to get rid of? Oh, do I have two of those? Yes, I do. Well, one of those can go. Guys, what do you think the difference is between power black and black? <laughs> Probably not gonna wear a black brown mascara. My eyelashes are pretty black black. Okay, so I don't need three backups of the NARS Climax mascara. Or do I? Probably not. This one can go in the giveaway part too. So here's all the mascaras going in the bin. <laughs> but this drawer looks a lot better now. Okay, so this drawer is my setting sprays and my liquid eyeliners. I feel like my setting sprays weren't too bad. They're just written all over the place. Guess how many backups I have of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Four full-size ones and one mini one. But I do actually use them. Oh, getting rid of this Revolution Hyaluronic Fix because the spray on it is terrible. Get rid of this NYX one mm, and this NYX one. Oh, I have Horace. I used to love this brand, but I have I have had these for numerous years, and they should probably go. I'm gonna get rid of the Wet n Wild felt tip eyeliner. It's because I suck at anything that isn't like a brush tip. Ooh, yuck! This eyeliner is all chunky. It can go in the bin. <laughs> Another Eye of Horus liquid eyeliner that I have had for far too long. And when I say far too long, we're talking like maybe five years. <laughs> I want to get rid of this. This is the Revlon Colorstay Exactify liquid liner. I think these have like the pizza cutter. It's all separated. <laughs> Well, that's going in the pin. Another Revlon pizza cutter eyeliner that can go. I'm gonna get rid of the Stila eyeliner because I feel like it's just not that good. Kat Von D tattoo liner and the Too Faced Better Than Sex liner are way better, so I'm just getting rid of it. You know what? This drawer, I'm done. I'm done with it. Okay, so this is the last drawer. It's sort of random crap in here. I've got like lots of like face diamante stickers, random temporary tattoos, lashes that don't fit in my lash drawer. You know what? I think this drawer can stay. I will just tidy it up later. And I think that's everything, guys. Is that everything? Did we go through everything? So I... Oh, lip products. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a break and we're going to film lip products another day. But it's only going to be a second for you guys because of editing. And we're back. So over this side of the room is where I have all my lip products. Now, I took the liberty of Googling every single lipstick shade that I own in advance to take out all the discontinued lip colors that I own. And there's just a few. So I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these. I do really love these Too Faced lipsticks and the packaging is so beautiful, but they don't make them anymore. I'm gonna put them in a maybe pile. I also really love the Urban Decay Game of Thrones lipstick collection. These are so beautiful, but I'm gonna give these to my mom. No, these have to go. So after getting rid of all the discontinued shades, my lipstick collection doesn't feel that overwhelming now. Is there anything else that I wanna get rid of? I I think we're pretty good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good for now. You can stay as you are. So, this is the giant bag of makeup that I am getting rid of. So I'm gonna end this video here on my floor. I really hope this video wasn't too much of a hot mess for you guys. When I first sat down to film this, I was not feeling good. But I'm okay now. You know, we all go through ups and downs in our lives and I don't want to continue to pretend everything is fine and dandy 100% of the time on this channel because that's not real life. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you're new here and you would like to see more videos from me. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!